As a professional filmmaker, I'm using big tripods for my main camera all the time. But there is a certain kind of tripod that I can recommend to every filmmaker, no matter if they are a beginner, an enthusiast or a full-time videographer. I'm talking about the Welburn VideoMate tripods. I got my first Welburn tripod over 16 years ago and I have always owned one since then. I can certainly recommend this one, this is the Welburn uh, 638 and there are bigger and smaller ones and they work more or less the same. This one costs 114 euros, it's not the cheapest tripod on the market but I will tell you why it's worth it and why it's great value for your money. This tripod is a very lightweight for its size, it's not the smallest tripod ever. I would say it's a medium sized beginner's tripod but it can certainly handle some weight. It's very sturdy and stable and I have this rig on the tripod without any issues. This rig weighs over 2 kilograms and I would say it can handle even more weight. So that's great. If you only use very small cameras, you can use a smaller version of the VideoMate tripods. But this one has some special features that are surprisingly professional. One of the professional features I was surprised about is the dampening of the video head. Normally you wouldn't have a dampening on a fluid head in this price range, but this tripod has it. The knobs are very heavy to turn, but they are there and you can adjust the resistance of your video head. This is very important if you have a bigger camera, for example, and you want uh, to control how fast it uh, tilts when using it on this tripod. This is only available on big uh, tripod heads for normally, but it's great to see it on this one. Normally you would only have these knobs, speaking of the knobs, they are plastic, but I never broke one over the years, so I think they are very sturdy made. The tripod is made out of aluminium and plastic, but it's very well made in my opinion. The whole tripod only has two segments on the bottom. It makes a bigger package when it's packed down, but uh, I think it's great to have less segments because it makes the whole setup more sturdy when it's fully extend. There is also a column in the middle of the tripod which you can extend using this little crank which I think looks a little bit funny but it works. The handle uh, for the video tripod is also adjustable for your preferred shooting style. The panning action and tilting action is super smooth and this in my opinion is where this tripod punches way above its weight class. You can do very smooth pan and tilts and follow the action without any jitters whatsoever. Normally you would pay the price uh, for a video head that has uh, this smooth of uh, panning action but you get a whole tripod on top of that so <laughs> this is great. The only real gripe I have with this tripod is the proprietary plate which slides in a little bit awkward from the side and you are not able to slide your camera back and forth like you can do with most other uh, tripods. This is important if you have a very heavy setup and a long setup that you can shift the weight front and back to balance it on your tripod. This is why I use this uh, Arca Swiss adapter on the plate so I can shift the weight uh, back and forth. This is important for me because I have uh, longer and heavier setups and I use the Arca Swiss uh, plates on all my cameras so this is just an adaption from my side. If you don't need uh, the possibility to slide your camera back and forth you can still use the Welbon plate and you're good to go. Another thing is that this is not a professional grade tripod, so you are able to break these if you work very rough. I broke four of these tripods over the almost decades and uh, yeah, I work really fast, I work really rough with my equipment, so be prepared that you might break one of these. But if you take care, these will work for a very, very long time and they are great quality. I wouldn't go way above the maximum weight capacity of this tripod, which is around three kilograms. I have had rigs 
uh, with around 5 kilograms on this tripod and it was able to handle it but I wouldn't do that all the time but you already knew that this is not the tripod for your Arri Alexa. I use this tripod almost exclusively as my B camera tripod. I have this tripod with me all the time and it's in the trunk of my car. So if I have an interview and I need a second camera to set up, I just grab it and put it there. Also my B camera shooters work with this tripod all the time and it's great for them because it's easy to use and it has great uh, panning and tilting action and it's easy to set up and very stable. You can go quite low and way above eye height. So this works for almost every situation I can think of. If you are a beginner looking for an affordable yet great video tripod or a professional looking for a B camera tripod, I can certainly recommend this tripod to you. Uh, Welvin doesn't know that I do this review, I'm not getting paid or whatsoever. I just wanted to share my experience with these tripods. They are great value for their money. They have great quality and if you take care, they will last you for a long time. So that's it for me. If you have any questions about these tripods, please leave your questions down in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos and reviews on filmmaking, please subscribe to this channel. And I hope you have a nice day and create something extraordinary.